Today, we are looking at the top 10 most rare and expensive Pokemon cards in the world. So get ready because this is gonna be an epic video. Hope you're all having an amazing day. I'm Roy Kaina. Thank you so much as always for taking the time to check out my brand new video. And as I mentioned in the intro, today we are checking out the top 10 most rare and expensive Pokemon cards in the world. Alrighty guys, before we begin, I'd like to give a big shout out to Dicebreaker, where I found this article of the top 10 best Pokemon cards in the world. So a big thank you to them. And let's jump straight into this. So at number 10, we have the 1996 Pokemon Japanese base set no rarity symbol hollow a Venusaur yes that was a bit of a mouthful but it is a very rare Pokemon card and it was made even more valuable by the artist autograph so let's take a closer look at this and before we do uh, just to mention this was sold for $55,000 back in November 2021 which is insane let's have a look at the card itself we have the base set venusaur here a japanese edition and we have the artist by i believe it's mitsuhiro arita um, but i'm just going to double check that so this particular venusaur card was made even more valuable by the signature of a legendary pokemon illustrator mitsuhiro arita as you can see on the actual card there is no rarity symbol which is what makes this card so rare in a roundabout way at number nine we have the 1999 pokemon japanese promo tropical mega battle tropical wind i'm sure they're making these titles as difficult as they can for me to pronounce but i'm gonna try my best so this is an ultra rare promo card one of only a dozen ever made and this was sold for sixty-five thousand dollars. that is absolutely ridiculous let's have a look at the card itself we have a, a sleeping jigglypuff and a sleeping side up just a chilling on what looks to be a beach there um, but let, let's have a look at the story behind this so uh, only a dozen of these cards were given to top players at the 1999 tropical mega battle tournament the actual tropical mega battle tournament saw 50 players from around the globe take part in a tournament for the tcg game in honolulu in hawaii and the only way to participate was to win a battle in your local region and to earn an invite which is probably why this card is so unbelievably rare that is such an incredible story behind that card i love that all right guys we're going to move down to number eight now which is the 1999 super secret battle number one trainer all of these cards have such epic titles it is i'm loving it guys i'm loving it this sold for ninety thousand dollars back in july 2020 so let's have a look at the card itself so it is a trainer card it has a Mewtwo silhouette here uh, which is really cool I love that and it has the um, little logo here and it says secret super battle so let's have a look with only seven copies believed to be in existence the super secret battle number one trainer is easily one of the rarest pokemon cards ever made it is a holographic promotional card which was awarded to finalists in the secret super battle tournament that sounds like something out of an anime i watch i absolutely love that title to earn a place in the competition's finals uh, which were held in a secret location of course they were why wouldn't they be players had to to first win a regional tournament and their prize was this number one trainer card which granted them access to the finals at number seven we have the 2006 pokemon world championships promo number two trainer card okay so one of the rarest pokemon cards of all time with only three known to exist that is insane this sold for a hundred and ten thousand dollars so if we take a look at the card itself it has the uh, Pikachu holding the trophy here and it says if you won this card at the 2006 Pokemon TCG World Championships you may return to battle the best in 2007 so this is a very exclusive card 
Just three copies of this card were given to winners of the event, which makes it one of the most rarest Pokemon cards ever made. All right, guys, moving on to number six, we have the 2000 Pokemon Neo Genesis First Edition Hollow Lugia. Let's have a look at this card, which was sold for $144,000 in May 2021. That is astronomical. That is ridiculous. Let's look at this Lugia. So, Obviously, we've got the holographic pattern. We've got the first edition stamp over here. And I mean, it's Lugia. It's definitely a fan favorite legendary Pokemon. And obviously, Neo Genesis is one of the rarest sets ever made in Pokemon history. Um, so as of May 2021, uh, PWCC claims that only 41 Gem Mint 10 condition Neo Genesis first, ed first edition Hollow Lugia number nine cards have ever been graded by PSA. At number five, we have the Kangaskhan Hollow, the number 115 family event trophy card. The third rarest Pokemon card of all time, sold for $150,000 in October 2020. And look at the card right here. We've got the Kangaskhan, we've got the holographic pattern. Apparently only three copies of this trophy card have ever been sold in the last two decades, making it, of course, one of the rarest Pokemon cards ever made. Uh, what sets the trophy card apart? is the inclusion of the Pocket Monsters card game logo, the original Japanese name for the Pokemon TCG on the back of the card, uh, in addition to the front. At number four, we have the Black Star Ishihara Sign GX promo card, a card featuring the Pokemon company's president himself. Of course, this will be in the top five. This was sold. Make sure you're sitting down for this. Of course you are, you, you probably are. Um, this sold for $247,000 in April 2021. That is unbelievable. Let's have a look at this card. So we have the president of the Pokemon company himself. That is amazing. I love that. Uh, we've got the Master Ball, of course, you know, what else would he have? Um, he's got a Rotom there next to him. Um, He's got a congratulations attack right there. I love that. That is so cool. Everything about this card is just incredible. Um, so a card celebrating the Pokemon founder's 60th birthday and signed by him as well. Uh, and it's GX move 60 congratulations tells you to flip 60 coins and take a present for each one. That is a legendary card. At number three, we have the Pokemon Blast Toys commissioned a presentation Galaxy Star Hologram. These card names are getting so difficult to pronounce, so just bear with me. A two of a kind card that suddenly became one of the most valuable Pokemon cards of all time. This sold for $360,000 in January 2021. Let's have a look at the card itself. So we've got the Blast Toys. Um, very different type of card, like you can see the text um, on the Pokemon name and the HP are quite uh, different, quite like RT. Uh, only one of two such Pokemon cards in existence, making it extremely rare. This Blast Toy suddenly became one of the most valuable Pokemon cards of all time after it sold at an auction for $360,000. Moving on to number two, we're nearly there, nearly there. The 1999 first edition Shadowless Holographic Charizard. We knew we'd be seeing Charizard at some point here. A very valuable version of a classic fan favorite. And this, get ready for it, sold for $420,000. I mean, let's take a look. Charizard, one of the best Pokemon cards in existence. First edition, of course. I mean, what more can I say? It's Charizard. So what sets this card apart is the lack of a shadow underneath the fire breathing dragon. This was a printing error that was corrected for most of the cards printed, uh, which makes the shadowless card even rarer. The most rare and expensive Pokemon card ever is, of course, the Pikachu Illustrator card. Finally, an easy title for me to say. Extremely expensive, extremely rare, the holy grail of Pokemon cards right here. This was sold privately for $5.275 million in July 2021. Let's have a look at the Illustrator cards. I've heard about this. It is the holy grail of Pokemon cards itself. So the Illustrator 
Pikachu was originally given to winners of promo contests held in 1997 and 1998. 39 copies were officially awarded to the winners, while two copies were later rediscovered in 2020 by one of the card game's co-creators, uh, Yuichi Kono, bringing the total number of Pikachu Illustrated copies in existence to 41. Uh, right, so here we go. Logan Paul, of course. Uh, when it comes to private sales, however, Pikachu Illustrator has reached even more impressive figures. A PSA grade 10 copy of the extremely rare card claimed to be the only such flawless copy in existence was reportedly brought back in July 2021 by YouTuber Logan Paul for a record 5.275 million, making it by miles, the most expensive Pokemon card ever traded. There we have it, the top 10 most expensive and rare Pokemon cards in the world. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave me a comment down below. What was your favorite card out of the top 10? All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.